The Dentamax Ledger is extremely easy to use, but yet very, very powerful. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, there's lots of ways of getting the Ledger. Um, I like to drive the program from the appointment book because this is my work schedule. And so here we are looking at James Wood's appointment. If I want to jump to his ledger, all I have to do is right click on the appointment with my mouse and then select view ledger and then boom, I'm looking at James Wood's ledger. Now there's other ways of getting to the ledger. You can click on ledger here at the top of your screen. This is always here, this blue toolbar, and you can easily get to the ledger that way as well as other ways. Once you're in the ledger, um, the ledger is very dynamic, uh, interactive. Uh, for example, uh, if, you, if you're looking at something, it looks like a hyperlink, just like the Internet. Well, it is. I'll go ahead and click on Delta Dental. I have a question about his insurance. Boom, there I am looking at James Wood's insurance plan. Now, if I have a question about a fee schedule uh, for Delta Dental, click on that and zoom. <laughs> there I go. I'm looking at the fees for uh, Delta Dental, James Woods Insurance Plan. I want to go back to a previous screen. I have this forward and backward button. Just click on the back button a couple of times and there we are looking at the ledger again for James Woods. And so I dare you to try that in another system. Uh, Denimax, the way our user interface works, it's very fast, it's very efficient and, it's, and extremely easy to use. Um, well, let's go ahead and maybe look at a few things here. The ledger is very informative. It's giving you detailed information at a glance so when your patients call you with simple questions you can supply those answers easily and quickly to your patient saving you time and making you look professional um, and so let's go ahead and maybe simplify this a little bit we're looking at both James uh, his uh, uh, procedures and, and transactions as well as his wife's Nicole's so if I want I can go ahead and say you know what just show James information so Boom, there we are. We're not, we're not in family mode anymore. We're just looking at James. Um, looking to the right, you'll have uh, the actual fees for the procedure codes. Then you'll have the insurance payments, patient payments, write-offs by the insurance, write-offs by your patient, and then your balance. So if they wonder how they owe 200 bucks, well, there you go. You have the detailed information right there at your fingertips, so to speak. So you know you can give that answer directly to the patient. There's also a detailed view you can go into. Let's go ahead and do that. And so directly below the procedure code, you can see um, what the insurance is paid, $100. What the patient is written off, what you've written off for the patient, insurance adjustments, uh, patient payments, and even notes. Okay, and so in this case, this note is appearing, or it appears on the patient statement, saying the insurance did not pay, we ran out of room. This screen's very dynamic. Let me go ahead and just make more room here. The shirts did not pay the full amount. Double click on it. If the patient were to call me, this is a screen where I can look at it. This little note here at the top appears on the statement, but this larger note is for my own details. And so if the patient were to call me, I can, I can look at these details right here to help me. Um, let's go ahead and go back to our ledger screen. Um, the screen is very modifiable. We just stretched out this one right here. I can reorder um, my, my, my columns here. If I wanted to move surface over, I could move it back over here. If I wanted to add additional information, I can do that. I'll right click here and we'll go ahead and say, you know what, we want to go ahead and customize this view. There's a follow up column that I really, really like. I'm going to go ahead and put it over to here. I'm going to maybe rename that, make it a little bit shorter, abbreviate it, say OK, OK, and boom, I have this little follow up button here now in my ledger that I use all the time when maybe I haven't collected the full amount from the insurance plan. I'll click on that and then run a report later on so that I can follow up on these um, procedures that didn't receive their full payment from the insurance plan. Uh, lots of neat things here. Very powerful. If I want to export out to Excel and really analyze this data, no problem. I can do that. Just right click here at the top of your screen and you can go ahead and export the entire ledger here, what you're viewing, over to Excel. Okay, and once you get into Excel, you have all those wonderful, powerful tools in Excel. Um, if I want to go ahead and maybe add up a column, you know, what did the patient pay in total? Just here at the bottom, I have my, my ability to create sums and, you know, have added in Excel. Very powerful, very flexible. You have that tool to export to Excel. Um, let's maybe go through here at the top of the screen. Um, I have Delta Dental showing that. Uh, they have nothing left to pay. 
my head of household is actually Nicole, and there's $200 left here, okay? Here to the right, um, we can see our total charges, adjustments, insurance payments, patient payments, and the $200 still remaining to be paid. We can see that those match. Here to the right, we can see that uh, James Davis, there's a $200 again that he owes that. There's a family amount that's being owed. Part of that's by Nicole. We can see that we've met our standard deductible. We don't have a family deductible or preventative or other deductibles. Um, that's here at the bottom. We can see that $140 has been applied towards my insurance max okay, for my 12-month period. So I still have a lot left of my max. And we even have this aging here across the bottom showing that we have uh, $200 left to be collected. So that's carried throughout here at the top of the screen. So the primary purpose of this program is to collect your money as the doctor. And the program does a phenomenal job at that. Um, another thing, uh, let's see, the reports from this are very useful and easy to understand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and print out uh, maybe just the patient statement, okay? And so here we have the family ledger again. We got for James and Nicole, lots of stuff for both of them. Uh, if we click on print family statement here, the statement looks just like this ledger, okay? And so uh, if the patient were to call, you're basically looking at the same thing they're looking at. And then the statement provides all the information the patient's going to want so they can pay you and not ask you additional questions. And so here we have our fees, what the insurance is paid, what you've written off, the patient's paid, adjustments, balances, and then what's owed here on the right-hand side. Go down to the bottom. It's even going to age this across the bottom. Divide the insurance amount from the patient portion and give in big bold letters what the patient owes. Let's go back into the ledger. Um, we'll go out of family view. If I want, um, I can double click on any of these. Let's see, we'll double click on the insurance check payment. If we double click on that, we can see that this $100 payment is part of a $500 EOB. If we click on view check, it will show you how that $100 or uh, that $500. EOB was, was paid out. We could see that the whole amount still hasn't been paid out. Another neat thing about the Denimax ledger is that you can really drill down to the information that you're looking for. If you've had a patient for a lot of years and their family for a lot of years, there could be a lot of information on the ledger screen. And so, for example, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go into the detailed view here. And maybe I just want to look at patient payments. The patient has a question about the payments that they've made in the past. And so, I'll make everything else disappear except for patient payments. So down here at the bottom of the screen, I'll go into view mode, and everything disappear except for patient payments, and boom, there we are looking at just the patient payments. So very, you know, this tool is very nice in helping you drill down to the information that you're looking for. It could be patient payments, insurance payments, uh, maybe just uh, procedure codes, or whatever else that you're looking for. If I highlight a specific claim on the ledger screen, all the procedures that correspond to that claim will appear in blue, making it easy to, to identify them. It's easy to create claims from the ledger as well. Let's go ahead and add some procedure codes here so we can create a new claim. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Use a Multi-Code. Um, let's go ahead and just use our little multi-code that we created to add a PA in a limited exam. And then we'll go ahead and the left-hand side we'll click on Create Claim. And so we've just created a claim here. Let's go ahead and take a peek at it. We'll click on yes to view the claim. And boom, there we are looking at our, our claim here, our interactive claim. That we've created directly from the ledger screen. As you can see, the ledger is very powerful, very customizable, and very easy to use. It's going to make your job a lot easier to collect the doctor's money.